these tables underwater first day is not a good sign. But, oh, come on, man. Yo, everybody, this is Robert the Great, aka The Toy Bookie, and in today's video, we are coming to you with another flea market haul. And so the flea markets are back open, and I went Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Friday, you guys already saw, I posted that video. So today will be my Saturday and Sunday haul, all in one video, it's gonna be really cool. I'm very excited because I didn't realize at the time, and not even in this video, because I already filmed that stuff and now I'm making an intro, I didn't know what I got. So I got a really good, expensive item that you're gonna not see me be too excited about. I kinda had a hint of it in the video while I was picking it up. Sometimes you just know. From being in this business for so long, I just know sometimes if something's gonna be worth a little bit, and you, you know, you use your knowledge over the years of just finding stuff. So, I did get a really cool transformer that's worth a lot of money, and it was, it's mint and it's complete, and I was like, wow. So let's get to the video, but first off, I wanna just thank all the Patreon members, you guys rock, you guys will be right here. Any money I make on Patreon goes right back into the channel. You guys bought this uh, hat and these glasses for my live streams. We have fun on my live streams. If anyone wants to join, hit the notification bell. You'll see when I go live. Usually on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern time I go live. That's my Wednesday show. But I do go randomly live sometimes. So it's a different environment. We have a lot of fun. There's a lot of regulars. Definitely check out the live streams. It's just a lot of fun. There. And thanks for the Patreon members. If you guys want to support, links are always down below. Sign up. There's all different tiers. Let's get to the video because shilling, you know, is not fun for anybody, but you know, okay, let's go. Okay, so we are at the other flea market that just opened first day today, and it was flooded. It rained really hard in Jersey, and you're gonna see the tables are underwater. It seems like they don't, something doesn't want the flea market to happen right now, but uh, if this trip, I do not get anything and no one's here. I did save a turtle crossing the road, so it made it worth it. I saved the turtle, I stopped the cars that was driving, and that turtle was gonna be splat. He was trying to cross a big road, and I took him, put him on the other side, so. Perfect. Even if I don't get anything today, I'm happy I saved that turtle, but we still might check another flea market on the way home now, because now the other one's open too. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys what this flea market looks like, it's underwater. Look at it. This is, you know how high these tables are? These are pretty high tables and they're underwater. You know that? It's crazy, man. Look at this. Um, oh, there's some people down there. All right, cool. Let's go check it out. I'll get my boat. So people did start setting up in like the dry area that's not underwater. But so far I didn't see anything really. I didn't even see movies. I'm looking for some movies, but uh, no one even has those. Some toys, no, only sports toys. I don't do sports toys. Oh, here we go, let's check this out. All right, so the first flea market stunk, but now we are at a different flea market and I found a ton of stuff. So this will be a come a video, so I'm glad I'm getting content for the channel. I got a lot of stuff and I got some cool stuff and everything's pretty good prices here. So I think this is just gonna be the one I'm coming to from now on. The other one was kind of a bust. So I'm gonna keep shopping and we'll see. Wish me luck. All right, so we are home. It is Saturday, day one. Hopefully I have two days. You know, I'll have tomorrow's haul after this. We didn't find anything at the first flea market we went to, but we went to the second flea market and I wound up finding a bunch of stuff for all really good prices. So I am excited and let's show you what I got. So first off, I got this Hulkamania hat. So if anyone collects wrestling figures, you know that uh, this is like a pretty valuable thing, like you could use this for customs and stuff and it just makes your figures better for the Hulk. So that's very cool, it's the Hulk's bandana, Hulk Hogan, not, you know, not Avengers Hulk. So I got this, I paid him a quarter, he said just take it, I said no, I'm not looking for free stuff. So this lady had a bunch of clothes, everything was a dollar. So I got Black Sabbath shirt, not bad, it's just band stuff, for a dollar you can't beat it. Then, this is pretty cool, this is... Harry Potter, but it's the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So this is the stuff from um, Universal Studios. This is expensive. This is like a $60 item. Wizarding world of Harry Potter. It's got the patch on the side. This is all embroidered. Paid a dollar for that. Can't beat that. Then, this is just for my wife. These are Harry Potter pants, pajama pants, Gryffindor. Those are the like expensive ones from that thing. Then, this is probably the best thing I got today. This is Riverdale. So, uh, the Riverdale, you know, that TV show, 
This is the jacket, leather jacket from Hot Topic, I believe. And this thing should be like 80 bucks or something. I paid a dollar for it. So hopefully this thing sells quick. I know everyone loves uh, Riverdale. So that's crazy. Not too bad. And then I wound up getting some toys too. So let's talk about the toys. So first off, we got Spawn in the box. I know a lot of people are on a super Spawn kick right now. And uh, this is just really cool. I know he's doing a new figure. And I think it's modeled after this figure, I believe, with the unmasked and everything. So hopefully people are interested in that. This I got for myself. I'm really excited. I've been on a Jurassic Park kick. And this is vintage Jurassic Park, The Lost World, in box. I love the packaging. That's one thing uh, Jurassic Park had really down packed is their branding and their marketing. Um, you know, with their merchandising. Very cool. I like this. I'm keeping that. And then... Um, that my, just another haul, I got this all together, and I got Power Ranger with Pokemon lot. So, uh, these are the Burger King toys of Pokemon. I wanted this muck for, I'm going to take the keychain off him, and I'm just using him as like a muck figure. But, um, all this was only $3. So, I paid a dollar each on the clothing, $5 on Spawn, I paid $3 on the Jurassic World Matchbox in the, in the box, and I paid $3 for this vintage Pocket Monsters from Japan uh, pencil case. Really cool. Made in Japan, yep. Game Freaks Nintendo. This is official stuff right here. Very cool. All this was only $3. So this is a really nice condition Yellow Ranger. I never really see the Yellow Ranger or the Black Ranger. I always see the other ones. So when I saw this one and it was in good condition, I had to pick it up. That's really like pretty good condition. And then these are a little dirty, the, the Burger King toys, but I still had to pick them up. So that was it. Not too much on Saturday, but um, the first flea market I went to was so bad, I thought I was gonna leave with nothing. So I'm glad I went to a, the second flea market. And I'm pretty happy with, like I'm looking for vintage Jurassic Park stuff and I found it, so I'm very happy there. Hopefully tomorrow we get even better haul, so if everything works out, you'll be jumping to tomorrow right now. All right, so it's Sunday morning and I literally made it here so early that there's nobody here. I couldn't sleep, so I said I'm coming in early and uh, I don't know, hopefully we get some good stuff. I'm gonna keep walking around and I'll get some cardio in the morning, so. Let's go see who's here. Oh, there's a guy over there. I'm gonna go. All right, so we just put the stuff in the car. I actually started finding things. Throw out, always use a trash can. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so we are gonna go back in and we're gonna see. I came too early, so now people are starting to come. I just ate something, so if there's something in my teeth, just ignore it, please. All right, let's go, let's go hunt. All right, so we're back in the car. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave. I've been here for way too many hours and it seems like I'm seeing the same stuff, same stuff. I probably should stay, but I'm gonna leave. I got a bunch of stuff, so I was hiding it. So there is stuff to go over. So we did get a lot of stuff today um, and I didn't pay too much, which is always the most important thing for me. So we're gonna get home and we're gonna look at what we got today and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm obviously jumbling my words because I'm, I'm hungry. I didn't even have my coffee yet. So let's get home. All right, so it is Sunday. We are back from the flea market, and we actually did find some stuff. As you saw, I went there a little too early, and uh, there were really no people setting up, and it was so slow for people setting up that I kind of left a little bit early. I should have stayed a tiny bit longer, but I still did get some good stuff, and I think I got something that's really good. So let's get into it right now. I got this Tommy Hilfiger Vintage Tommy Bear. Now, for all the, uh, you know, vintage collectors and the hype beasts out there, they love this stuff. It, it looks to be vintage, it's got the big flag logo, and uh, I paid three bucks for this, and this will definitely sell uh, at least 40, 50 bucks, I'm thinking. This is for my wife, so she's also joining us right now. I got a stack of Harry Potter things from some lady, and, and even Pokemon stuff, so I got... Okay, hold on. Yes, I'm in, and then this too. So I got, and I'm upset because I was at the flea market that she was at yesterday, and she said she sold a ton of Pokemon things yesterday, and I didn't see her. So, oh, even more. Look at that. I paid three dollars for all this stuff. Oh, and hold on. And one of these books has. Here we go. Now this is when you. Woo! These are cards from the Chocolate Frogs from Universal Studios. 
that when you eat the chocolate frog, it has a card in it. And so these are all wizard cards. So all this for $3, I have to say, that's a pretty good deal. Hun, these are all yours. Uh, you know, Harry Potter stuff, not the Pokemon stuff. Then this was like a random thing. This was the first thing I bought today, so I was just like... The first purchase you make is always the stupidest one. That you, the one you probably shouldn't have bought. But it's alright because I'll make my money back. This is just the box of this Zelda game. But it has the manual and the box is in pristine condition. Not for resale. Wait a second. Is this like a... Oh, this might have been in the box set playing? of the game set. No, like the GameCube box set. So like they don't want you splitting it out. Either way, this will sell. So... Um, I paid $5 for these three items. This is a Gundam that was already uh, built, but it had the liquid cement in it. And this is pretty expensive for itself, and it looks like it's complete. So I thought, just throw it in there. I always try to bundle things, like because I wasn't going to just buy the GameCube box. But then this was pretty cool to me. So when I opened this up, I said, oh, there's nothing in it. But there actually is some stuff in here. So... This is a special collector's edition set, and it has all the stuff in it. It's only missing the movie, which is the part that you don't really need. So listen to this. It has, um, with this gift comes blah, blah, blah. So it has a print in here that I'm not sure if that's autographed or... Hold on, where is it? Is that... I, I can't tell if it's actually autographed or... Hold on, let me see. It might just be a print. It looks like a print. What does it say on that paper? Yeah. Here, you read that. The other one. Oh, which one? This one? Oh, reproduct. Lithograph reproduction by John. Offset lithograph? I don't know. So it's not, I don't think it's autographed, but it's still cool. Then this is what's probably the best thing of it. That's a film cell of the Spider-Man movies right there. So that's like what I bought this kind of for. It's uh, the film cell of the Spider-Man movie that I was actually in the first Spider-Man movie. I'll put a clip right here. That was me as the paper boy. I was an extra in Spider-Man. Now this is a Kevin Smith, Stan Lee movie. And then I think this is a comic, yeah. So, not bad, all for five bucks. I was like, um, I said I'll, I could split that up and sell it. I could make one money. And then last but not least, this is what I think is worth something. So, all these yellow pieces come together. There should be six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yes. Okay, so they all should be here. And this builds this one big guy. And I think he goes for around seven. Uh, seven. Imagine seven. Uh, about, about like a hundred dollars. From what I've quickly looked up. But if anyone knows this stuff in the chat, definitely let me know. Ooh, look at this. I had to buy this whole lot. Oh, Star Wars Transformer. I had to buy this whole lot. It was only ten bucks. So I said I'll take a chance instead of buying just parts that I don't know might be missing stuff. So, um, I'm not really the biggest Transformer fan. But I wasn't finding anything else. And... Uh, the color of that thing alone, I was like, that looks interesting, I'm gonna I buy like that. But colors. Yeah, right? I was like, that looks expensive. Sometimes things just look expensive. This is a bootleg. Boy. But look, it's got all the parts in here. And then I saw this little transformer. This is a little record transformer, and I know these go for something. So that was cool. And I just was like, yeah, you know what? I'm not letting this go. And it, it's just got a bunch of parts in here. And I would say that was worth 10 bucks. Oh, look, it looks like it got the accessories. So I'm going to have to do some research and see what goes with what. But that was probably my biggest find of the weekend. Oh, look at this. This is someone's hand. That's like a big hand. Oh, it might go to that. Okay. So now i got some time. i got to research this stuff, see how to build it. If anyone has any uh, tips or any like good websites with knowledge that I could learn about um, Transformers, Definitely hit me up, but I think that's it. That was my Saturday and Sunday haul. Nothing crazy, but again, it's the first weekend uh, since back at the flea market, and I have to say I'm excited. I'm happy, and I didn't spend too much, which is good. I'm trying to spend less and not buy so much junk just to buy it. But anyway, this is Rock of the Great, a.k.a. The Toy Bookie. Thanks for watching. Please join my Patreon if you are interested in supporting the channel. All the revenue from that Patreon goes back into the channel. 
and that makes me do cooler, bigger projects on the channel. And that's about it, guys. I'm, as you can tell, I'm kind of tired. I'm just all over the place, even though I did have about like four cups of coffee already. But um, waking up early and, and trekking the fields of the flea is, uh, is not kind on a man's soul. And now I'm, I'm really just, I gotta get out of here. All right, peace. <laughs> Do you like toy photography? Do you like tricks and tips? Then follow me over at, at the toy bookie on Instagram. Bye. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Like, for real. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Bye. Jeez, what a- now I'm gonna have to edit this out. Come on.